namaste and uh, welcome to another video on POV style of street photography exploring the beautiful town of Lalitpur riding my bicycle so currently I am riding up the ring road and uh, the intersection that you see is known as uh, Guarco Chok so I'm going to cross the Guarco Chok this road and head up the ring road towards uh, Sardo Bato a beautiful morning today it's uh, cloudy but I can see patches of blue sky so heading the road on my left up this street this road will lead towards Godavari. This road is known as Satobato Godavari Road. And uh, heading down this hill, I notice some tall building. Moving on, some apartment buildings on my right. Heading up the road, I come across a bridge crossing the river and right next to it, yet another tall apartment. An interesting subject for a photograph. So moving up the road, the road quickly turns into dirt road, a muddy road that is. Heading up this hill, I notice a tree with interesting texture and uh, an elderly woman praying. Beautiful. And right next to the tree, I can see a, an artificial pond with some water spout. Let's take a photograph from a different angle moving on I can see some old houses in ruins and uh, I can also see some old historical building and temples came out really nice so moving up the muddy road all muddy due to the recent rain it is the mid monsoon season here in Nepal so there is bound to be rain but sometime occasionally we have uh, beautiful clear skies as well but anyways moving up this muddy road I come across some old houses Moving on, heading up this hill, it's an uphill climb, I come across an old town with some old historical buildings. Let's take a photo from this angle. So heading up this down, I come across old houses and temples. And uh, I can see a Buddhist stupa right next to some old houses and 
the an alleyway and historical temples and uh, right next to this stupa I can see an old pond interesting Moving up this street, I notice a old man. So let's take a photo from this angle. So this is the old, beautiful, historical town of Baregao. It's a Newari old town with a beautiful buildings, temples, stupas. And uh, very artistic old buildings and structures which are in dire need of renovation. A beautiful old town with a beautiful old school vibe. And uh, right next to this temple, I noticed some old folks praying Buddhist scriptures. It's a beautiful, lively place. I really like the ambience here. So beautiful, the old folks singing and chanting Buddhist scriptures, very spiritual experience, I really enjoyed it. And here's an interesting perspective, the old house. lot of birds on the wire. Interesting. And uh, another pond. This time with a lot of fish. A beautiful fish pond. It's a lot of carp. Golden and black carp. Heading up the road, I notice the tallest mountain in the Kathmandu Valley, the Fulsuki Hill, standing tall at uh, 2,795 meters.
beautiful morning. The clouds are parting away, revealing blue sky and the beautiful lush green vegetation. I can see the peaks of Fultoki Hill, which looks especially striking with the blue background and uh, misty clouds. So after cycling for almost an hour, a total distance of 12 kilometers, I have now reached Godavari. So in the distance is the mountains of Godavari with lush green vegetation and uh, towering above is the hills of Fulsoki. Moving on, I'm taking the road on my right towards the Fulchoki Road, the Godavari Fulchoki Road. An interesting composition here. Moving up this road, it's uh, very relaxing. The air is very fresh with all the green vegetation surrounding me. It's very beautiful. Notice the crystal clear stream right next to the road. So heading up this hill, I'm going to take the road, a small passageway on the right, which will lead to the top of Marble Dana. So here is the destination for today, that's the Marble Dara, so it's uh, cycling uphill all the way towards the Marble Dara. And look, what do we have here, a friendly little dog. Interestingly, the dog kept following me. and. Uh, Sure is nice to have a company. Okay, I'm going to go over this pile of rock and into the road leading to Marble Dana. And uh, I'm going to take this shortcut up this hill. Let's do a little bit of hiking. It's really relaxing here. 
with lush green vegetation, birds chirping, very peaceful. And the road leading towards Marvel Dara, it's pretty good as well. But uh, it's a lot of uphill cycling. And uh, it's even more beautiful as I'm being accompanied by a beautiful dog. He's actually leading me all the way towards Marble Dana. Such a friendly, cute dog. Oh look, the dog is chasing some bird. Ah, there you are. And uh, there, there is Marble Dana, almost there. So this is the beautiful location of Marble Dara, a scenic location. It's beautiful here. So cycling for approximately two hours, a total of uh, 18 kilometers. I have now reached this scenic location, accompanied by a friendly dog, to the top of Marble Dara. It's a really beautiful morning today. The clouds parting away and uh, revealing the mountain range in the distance. It's the Ganesh Himal. And uh, turning around, I can see some old construction cranes to extract uh, the marble. Okay, time for some rock climbing. A beginner's rock climbing, that is. Let's see what view awaits us from the top of this vantage point. Well, from this vantage point, a beautiful view of Mount Ganesimal, the Ganesimal range. And down below is the Kathmandu Valley. Lalitpur and in the distance peeking through the cloud is the Manaslu mountain range beautiful it's very peaceful calm and relaxing 
and uh, from here the view is really beautiful all the exploring around Marble Dada. It's very relaxing and I really enjoyed the ambience. And uh, now it's time to head down back. It's all downhill from here. Perfect for downhill cycling. quite fun and uh, I did stop by 
to see if uh, the dog is still following me. And yes, she is. I later found out that uh, the dog, her name is Pokchi. She accompanied me all the way to the top of Marble Dana and back. And uh, Pokchi, the friendly little dog, led me all the way towards her home where I decided to take a little break enjoying the countryside scenery and uh, with all that hiking and cycling and Pokchi running around up the hill I'm pretty sure she's hungry so she really enjoyed the biscuit. It's a lovely dog. It's very relaxing here and uh, with a refreshing hot cup of tea I'm all set to head on back saying goodbye to Pokchi so yeah that's uh, that's it for today's video cycling all the way from the busy and bustling town of Patan through some historical old town of Barigao and into the green less nature side of Godavari up towards the Marble Dana for a breathtaking scenery of the Kathmandu Valley and the surrounding mountainside. That was really beautiful. I really enjoyed today's ride and today's photography session on my bicycle. And with that, thank you for watching and Namaste.